To install ChatGPT on Windows 10 and Windows 11 is really quite simple and we're going to do this using Microsoft Edge. The first thing we're going to do is launch into Microsoft Edge and then head over to the ChatGPT website. Once you've signed into ChatGPT, you can see here that you have all your conversations on the left. I've hidden it for this example and you can start writing away. But what we're going to do is go into the top right hand corner of Microsoft Edge, select on the ellipses, the three dots right next to your profile picture and then scroll down to where it says apps. From here, you can see it has the option of install this site as an app. We're simply gonna select on install this site as an app. A dialog box is gonna open up and you can name or rename this to whatever you like. I'd keep it as a chat GPT just so it's easier for you and then simply hit install. What you'll see is that ChatGPT will open up now in its own window. In the top left-hand corner, you can see the app is called ChatGPT. In your taskbar down the bottom, you can see you actually have a ChatGPT app, and then it gives you options here to pin it to your taskbar or your start bar, create a desktop icon and auto start when you turn your device on. I'm actually gonna keep it as pin it to the taskbar and the start bar to make it really easy to access the app. And I'm simply gonna go allow, open this full screen, and you can start using ChatGPT right away. Down the bottom, you can see I have ChatGPT as a standalone app on my taskbar. I can right click on it, and choose to unpin if I don't want it there. If I open up my start menu, you can see I now have ChatGPT installed as an application. And if I go under all apps and I scroll down to chat, you can see ChatGPT is also installed here as well. If you wanted to remove the application for any reason, you simply go into your start menu like we've already done, right click on ChatGPT and then simply select on install. And there you have it, it is that easy to install ChatGPT in Windows 10 and Windows 11. Of course, if you like this video, let me know by giving a thumbs up, and if you're gonna supercharge to use your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.